So, do you experience some of these things? Sometimes when you are minding your business, chilling, you get a flashback from something that happened to you a long time ago that was painful. Maybe you got your heart broken. Maybe you were abused and mistreated by someone that was supposed to care for you. Um, someone destroyed your trust. Maybe you were physically or verbally abused. Maybe you were raped or molested. And those things happened a long time ago, but to this day, you still have triggers to those things. I've been there and know how you feel. And you know Jesus Christ. You have a relationship. You pray. You worship. You fast. But you just still aren't completely free from that. That is not the way that Jesus wants you to live. He died so that we could be free. We may not be able to erase the memory, but we definitely shouldn't be reliving the experiences that we've been through emotionally. And in psychology, we teach exercises that help you um, redirect your thoughts called cognitive behavioral applications. And those things are great and we need therapy. But if we don't get to the root of things, those things are just temporary. This issues that we have, the pain that we have, it comes back. But what we need to do is combine the psychological with the spiritual because everything starts in the spirit first. That is the root of all things. And just like our bodies are body, soul, and spirit, they all are connected. So if one area is off, it affects the other. And most times you can tell what's going on in the soul by the manifestations, the symptoms in the, in the natural. So we first have to diagnose our souls and then we can be free. I'm telling you, you can be free. I am a survivor. I am a witness. I went through therapy. I went through, um, I got a life coach, but I needed the supernatural help of Jesus Christ, the King himself to come into my soul and to remove, listen to me now, this might sound crazy, but I needed him to remove demonic forces that were coming in and out of wounds in my soul. I had emotional wounds, soul wounds that needed to be bound up by God himself. I had to go through something called deliverance. And if you want to know more information about this, if what I said so far has you feel a pull in your spirit, link with us, join the community, and we are going to help you. What you can expect in linking up with us with the clinic is one, we will help you diagnose your soul. I will help you through the spirit through the Holy Spirit and the power of Jesus Christ to get to the root of the issue, which is trauma. And believe it or not, there are demonic forces that feed off of our pain. But the Lord comes in and he heals those wounds. And then after that, we will actually set up either a virtual deliverance session or we can meet in person and do a deliverance session and to remove through the power of the Holy Spirit anything that's still remaining in our souls from the things that we've been through. And then after that, we'll walk one one on one with you in an aftercare to maintain your deliverance to be totally free because we have to renew our minds, like the word says. But in order to renew our minds, we first have to remove what the root is, what is stopping us to be able to be available to hear, to, to redirect our minds with the word of God because we do have the mind of Christ. So if this makes sense, if it resonates with you, link, join, get involved. It doesn't cost you anything. We're not asking for money, but I am a witness to what I am telling you. And I told the Lord that if he put the words in my mouth, if he gave me the confidence to get on this video and to do what I'm doing, to say these things to you, I will dedicate my life to help those that have been through what I've been through. I will tell them about how he is the solution. He is the one. And just like in the word, when Jesus walked and started his ministry, the Bible tells us that he went, he cast out demons, he laid hands on the sick, and he also preached the word of God. So just like our minds, our souls, and our spirits are linked, we need deliverance. We need the laying of the hands. We need the word. We need all of them. And there's nothing to fear when I talk about this, when I talk about deliverance because it's a gift, it's healing, it's from Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you, whoever is listening to this, that is what you need. And you also need someone to walk you through this thing, walk you through. There's nothing wrong with